Yo, 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 what is up? King Kang here. And this is just going to be a little vlog video where I talk about some. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of affected me. So today something was announced. Um, something that really hits hard. Um, <clears throat> so. <laughs> Some 41. I woke up this morning, literally woke up to them posting on Instagram that, um, <coughs> that they're going to be breaking up, uh, after they released their new album and tour, uh, in celebration of their new album. <coughs> And, uh, fuck, I, it's, 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 it's so, fuck, it, it's so unexpected and it's so hard to believe it. I just, I wouldn't think that would happen. And I literally, I could not stop crying. I was crying for fucking hours. I was feeling awful and still just. You know, I'm seeing a lot of, like, accounts, you know, posting about it and everything. I just, I can't even, I don't want to read it. I don't want to read those headlines. I don't want to be reminded, you know, because it, it hurts my fucking soul. Um, <clears throat> so I guess I just want to make a video just talking about what Psalm 41 means to me. Um, sorry for, you know, it being dark and all, but, whatever. <coughs> Fuck, God, and I just ate, so, <coughs> a lot of, ugh, anyways. Yeah, so, <laughs> that was literally the worst way I could have ever, that, that was the worst thing I've ever woken up to in my entire fucking life. <laughs> um, <coughs> It was a fucking awful. Um, so, I have been listening to Sum 41. I've known them, loved them since first fucking, fucking first fucking grade. Um, if not possibly the summer vacation um, right before starting first grade. I think so. Um, yeah, I feel like I already knew some 41 starting when I was starting first grade and shit. So, yeah, um, fuck, man, back in the fucking day, every, everything was better. And it's all another topic to talk about. God damn, everything was better back, back then. You know, um, we had just gotten our computer. We still have it, the same one. Uh, my dad finally, I guess, upgraded, uh, to a new PC back in, fuck, how has it been that long? Late 2021? Actually, it was for Black Friday, yeah. Um, <clears throat> 2021. But the old, the, the, the old one, the old computer, the OG one, we still, the screen, we still got the screen and the, and the uh, PC itself and the keyboard and everything. I plan on hopefully using it at some point. But anyways, we had just gotten it that same fucking summer. It was the, it was the summer also that we fucking moved into this house too. Um, yeah, what's well now my literal childhood home, even though it's just been getting rented all of this time. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, dude, <clears throat> I remember everything that I discovered. Fucking. YouTube, all these awesome fucking videos, awesome things, and one of those things was Sum 41, um, and it started off, I'll even, I think I'll try to add screenshots, um, if I can find them, god, fuck, I'm pretty sure I still have every single one in some kind of playlist, like a favorites playlist or something, 
I mean, back then, it was my dad's YouTube account. And shit, so. I don't know. Probably I could find more of them on his if I looked through the playlist or something. But I did eventually, um, I made, I made my YouTube channel this in like, yeah, I think it was 2012 or 2011. Um, obviously I didn't start posting, doing YouTube to like, way too late. I should have fucking, I wanted to start way earlier, but, you know, until 2015. But anyways, um, <laughs> so it, it would be the fucking, you know, the OG lyric videos you know what i mean the ones you know people would make uh videos of songs with the lyrics on screen you know that, that was how it was done back in the day oh oh geez remember only oh geez okay um <laughs> fuck i mean you can still find i'm pretty sure most most of them <laughs> so fuck yeah man i don't remember which Fuck, which song was the first one that I, <laughs> that I fucking discovered from them? It was either the Hell song or Fat Lip. One of those two. <laughs> one of those two. Um, but it was also at the same time. So I remember whichever one I l f watched slash listened to first, you know, there would be like the recommended or whatever, like on the side. like. And so then I clicked... Immediately onto another Song 41 song, and that was either again Hell Song or Fat Lip, whichever came first, and the other came second. And then from there, just <laughs> more and more. Um, yeah. Uh, I definitely, I, those videos are definitely up, so, you know, screenshots here of those, uh, if not already shown them. But yeah, fuck, <laughs> man. <laughs> and I mean, sometimes, yeah, a lot of the lyrics could be wrong and shit, but, <laughs> fuck, I, I don't care. At this point, I literally will sing shit wrong, I don't give a fuck. Like, for example, um, Fat Lip. In the lyric video, <laughs> the, the, the lyric for this one line goes... <clears throat> <clears throat> I know I'm not the one you thought you knew back in high school. Never going, never showing, never we had to. Right? That's that's how it's in the in the lyric video. And so that's how I learned the lyric. That's how, and again, I, I have also been singing since first grade. Same summer and shit. Um, which the first lyric video and everything I'd start listening to and everything was Crush 40. But that, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other band. That's a whole other video for another time. Some time. But anyways, that's how I, that's how I learned, like, those lyrics to be. <laughs> it wasn't until literally, like, what, high school, I think? Like, 2017? Uh, yeah, maybe middle school. Eighth grade. But I think I was in ninth or tenth. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't until then that I discovered it's actually... I know, I'm not the one who thought you knew back in high school. Never going, never showing up when we had to. Which makes sense. Love the lyrics. But, <laughs> the, the way I learned it, it's just nostalgic. You know, some things, fuck you, I'm gonna sing it like that. Eat my fuck. <laughs> Alright, so. And it's still, to me, it makes sense. Never going, never showing, as in never showing up. Never we had to. As in, we never had to. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I always interpreted that. Never going, never showing, never we had to. We didn't have to, you know? Never we had to. You know, that's basically the way I always, you know, interpreted it. And it makes sense, okay? It makes fucking sense. Don't deny that shit. Anyways. Yeah, and from there on out, I would... I mean, listen to Sum 41 all the fucking time, discover more and more songs. <sighs> yeah, lyrics, still, lyric, the lyric videos. Fucking 88, Hutch, um, Billy Spleen, um, Over My Head, Better Off Dead, Underclass Hero, King of Contradiction, um, <laughs> even deluxe songs 
or bo and bonus tracks. Uh, Newts. Um, subject to change. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I, I never got to, like, discover every single song of every album, but almost, basically. Um, some, I def I pretty sure I didn't know entirely. Um, but yeah, I knew the lyrics to almost their entire fucking catalog. <laughs> I even fucking yeah, I remember I fucking remember when the Screaming Bloody Murder album came out. Fuck yeah, 2011. God damn, because I remember like you, you know just. Uh, I mean I I'm not sure if I knew it was a new. I'm pretty sure because I think some lyric videos would say new album or something, new song. But yeah, I was there for that. Whether I knew it was a new album or not. Either way, I was there for that. I remember that. Um, God, Screaming Bloody Murder. Blood in My Eyes. God, dude. <laughs> I, I, I might end up crying. I'm probably going to end up crying again. Um, reminiscing. God, I remember... Also, we, that's when we used to have the computer where we have the guest room now, too. And so I would always close, have the door closed, blast some 41 on the computer, loud as fuck, and sing right along to it with the lyrics on screen. And even, you know, even if I knew the lyrics already for damn sure, right? I mean, this was good. Here's another thing. A lot of them, most, the lyric videos, the audio itself was not good quality. <laughs> It wouldn't be all that great quality, but, <laughs> but, it's nostalgic as fuck. Now, I don't listen to those, uh, videos, because, now, since, like, middle school, I, 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 I value origi the or original quality of recordings. Original slash, it's high quality. Um, let's, even if a band's demo, let's say its original quality is shitty it's still high quality compared to like you know people reposted it on youtube and that actually sounds like shit anyways <clears throat> so yeah that was but again i mean back then you didn't you didn't really have anywhere else to go when it came to music it's, it's youtube it was all on youtube you want to listen to music it's on youtube whether it was lyric videos or not some was just have compilations of like just pictures of the band or whatever some lyric videos also had that in between like Instrumental break, you know, instrumental, um, and just all that kind of shit. <sighs> yeah, um, Sum 41 has been there <clears throat> forever, just fucking literally my whole life. Um, And, um, fuck, man. Damn, this last year, fucking shit. I was, oh, I was so close. I could have fucking seen them live playing the entirety of All Killer No Filler. Fuck. Oh, God. I hated that it couldn't fucking hurt me. Hurt my soul. Man, I've been hoping. I've had so many dreams regarding somebody why I've been hoping. That they'll do a tour celebrating Half Hour Power. Because fuck, I love that goddamn EP slash album. <coughs> fuck, it's oh, so good. And also hoping that they'd get Steve-O to come on for the drums one final time for it, too. Um, you know, uh, ju just, just for the All Killer No Filler tour. Because it would make sense, right? I mean, that that's what really blasted them off. Um, and I would think it would only be fair that, you know, all original members are there to celebrate that, you know? And I know Steve-O's been playing drums. He's been practicing again. Follow his instas. Good shit. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. 
And, um, yeah. And I, you know, I've, I've been hoping, you know, at some point I'll see, I'll, I'll fucking see him live. And then some point after that, when I have more money, I'm gonna get that VIP package. I'm gonna fucking meet them and shit. Um, but it's one of those. <laughs> fuck, it's one of those fucking things. <laughs> fuck, they're one of those bands. <laughs> I th- always thought, like, they would be the next, like, you know, OG band, right? Like, <laughs> they would go on for 50 years. You know, they'd, they'd fucking keep going for a long at many, like, when I think of some pretty well, I, th- how could you, you can't tell me, you can't picture them being one of those bands that last fucking forever. You know, even if they have, like, hi- hiatuses um, throughout, you know, which isn't a, an indef- isn't a definite breakup, at least, <laughs> but just you know, a break, right? <coughs> even the, even if they did have that, if they were to last that long, I'd be fine with that. If that meant they'd last that fucking forever, okay? Fuck, man. Ugh. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe they'll decide, no, we're not breaking up, we'll just go on hiatus. That'll be a huge breath of relief, because it makes sense. I mean, fuck, yeah, fucking Derek... He's got kids and shit, and then you know it's um, obviously he's got he's got to take care of his kids, right? This is, um, I'm pretty sure he had another kid. I'm pretty fucking sure another baby. Um, and so obviously it's understandable. You know you gotta be there for them. You gotta watch your first steps, all that kind of stuff, right? That's understandable. You know that's yeah. That's why you take a hiatus, right? Um, for every member to kind of take care of their families and, you know, again, just have a little break. I mean, that's understandable. <laughs> I just, that's why I don't see why break up, like, actually, I'm, and again, maybe they'll get back together. You know, bands, you know, um, tend to get back together sometimes. But... <laughs> This, fucking literally, I, it's the last thing I'd ever expect, you know? Um, uh, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's not, <clears throat> again, they're the kind of band <clears throat> that I always imagined would Last forever, you know? Last 70 fucking years, you know? Just keep going. Keep going. They're just one of those bands. And they have never sold out. They've never done no mainstream shit. I even... I remember I still have the post somewhere on my Insta. Um, I recorded a part of, like, they uh, had this, like, skit thing. Um... <coughs> Basically saying, uh, you know, fuck selling out. We're not going to, you know, make no trappy mainstream bullshit. No poppy bullshit, you know. They're going to stay true. You know, they're not going to fucking sell out. They're not going to do no mainstream bullshit, you know. Um, yeah, and <laughs> that, that, that just, you know. Because nowadays, every fucking band is selling out. Every fucking band is going mainstream one way or another. Rather, it's adding, you know, being a part of some kind of, you know, trappy bullshit or poppy bullshit or both. Most bands nowadays are complete shit because of that. They're all selling out. It's all money. Following the reverse has been total shit for so many years now at this point. You know, they fucking sold the fuck out. Um, Bring Me the Horizon has been fucking... Uh, shit too. Um, and, uh, you know those are you know, like metal bands as well. Um, and or were I guess. <laughs> so yeah, it's just this. 
Some 41 is stuck to who they are, what they are, no matter what a label wants them to do or, or a label, you know, says. Um, they want to do metal, they're going to do metal, all right? Uh, whether that's new metal, uh, alternative metal, um, melodic hardcore, like they, 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 do, they, they, they know what they're doing. You know, whatever genres they've done, you know, they, they, they do what they like and it's, oh, it's good fucking shit. Fuck, <clears throat> and, um, uh, <coughs> fuck, man. And, and obviously that's, that's huge respect, you know, especially for me. Because, again, most bands just are not like that. Um... And so that just, to me, just kept cementing their legacy to me. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. That was, fuck, when was that? 2019, 2020? Fuck, god damn, no way it's been that fucking long since they did that little skit thing. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, the fact that... <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. The fact that they're actually... I mean, uh, maybe after the album comes out and they tour, they might change their minds. I really hope so. But if they go through with it, I'm... A part, like, a part of me and a part of my soul and a part of my heart is going to go with them. There's just no other way. And I don't want it to be any other way. I I want it to be that way. They, it's uh, I don't want to say they're like family to me exactly. Cause I, I get I mean I, that's one way to say it. <laughs> they just I don't know how to explain it. They just always been there, you know. Um, just it just. It just it just feels, it's just a part of me. It's a part of my life, you know. Again, this is like it's first grade, man. Like, it's it, it really just breaks me. It breaks it breaks my heart and, and everything, you know. And I don't, I don't give a fuck, okay. I'm gonna fucking I'm, I'm gonna see their show. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm getting the VIP bag. I don't give a fuck. I'm meeting them, all right? If y'all are watching this, get fucking ready. I'm 21. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna hug the fuck out of every single one of y'all, and I might cry on y'all. Deal with it. I don't give a fuck, all right? I deserve that much, all right? I I I, I need this, all right? I need. I I I want that. I want that. I need that. You know, little kid me. Would be proud of me to do that, okay? <laughs> so, please. Yeah, although, when I was little, the concept of live shows wasn't really a thing that I grasped too much. Um, I mean, I knew what there was, but I was like, I don't know. When you're a little kid, you don't really think too much, all right? Not until you actually become a teenager. You know, once you're 12, or at least 13, right? Like, then you start being able to think more and think for yourself and not be a total little fuck, you know? Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. And oh, <laughs> also, fucking, actually, I'll try to add that somewhere in the beginning of the video, but, or here. <laughs> but yeah, I remember fucking back in the day. Back in the fucking day. Um, yeah. Um, that The post is still up. I actually... Yeah, I reposted it last... No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, last year. No, no, no it's not 2022. Fuck. <laughs> in 2021, when Derek turned... 41! <laughs> and it was a huge celebrate celebration thing. I fucking... I put on my very first Sum 41 shirt. Still the only one I have. Um, 
because it's hard to really find um, OG shirts and shit, you know, um, from back in the day. But that one, you know, apparently wasn't even an official design from them, or maybe it was at one point, I don't know. But the the the, the uh, print wasn't very good, so it's almost all washed off. But you can still kind of see it. Um, so I even put that shit on. It still fit pretty short in length, but overall, you know, a little bit of a tight fit. But, you know, I'm also a scene kid, so I have shirts that are supposed to be tight fit. You know, duh. So I don't give a fuck. <coughs> and, um, yeah, you know, I reposted that, that shit, and it was a post. <coughs> oh, like, maybe it was 2022, but I swear to God it was 2021. Um... <laughs> yeah, and so back in the day, 2014 or so, I think so, I had posted, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Summer, Summer Rebellion or something like that. They were doing, Sum 41 was doing this thing. I was obviously following them already. <laughs> Again, my Instagram, I've had it for fucking long ass time. I'm a real, a true motherfucking OG, all right? More than 10 years at this point. And I've been into the same shit and everything since like first fucking before that so honestly i'm more of gene than any fuck all these elder emos fucking poser fucks bro they all look like preppy fucks anyways <laughs> um but yeah i remember it was like something of like uh you know share yourself you know post a picture with you know some 41 merch and and tag it with you know hashtag summer rebellia uh, I'm pretty sure, God, the fact I still remember that fucking word, <laughs> um, and then, you know, they'll either repost it or something like that, and, uh, I remember I posted that, dude, fuck yes, oh, dude, I remember Derek Whibley himself on his official Instagram, now, damn it, it was his old Instagram, he eventually made another one, I don't know what happened to his old one, I think it got deleted, I don't know, that makes me fucking sad, <laughs> damn it, so I don't think I have screenshots of it, but he himself liked it. He liked the post. He saw it. He liked it. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> and um, his mom as well, at some point also fucking liked it. I was like, what? <laughs> and um, I think some 41, the band page itself also liked the post. And so it was just a huge holy shit, you know? Uh, yeah, it was unforgettable because literally I was acknowledged by fucking Sum 41 <laughs> by Derek Wibley. Like, ugh, right? And so, um, yeah, and I, I reposted that. Uh, I think I had just freshly gotten the shirt or or not, or I've had, or I, no, no, I think I had had it for about two years or so. I'm not sure. Um, maybe it was, I had just gotten it, like, a, weeks before, maybe a month before, or somewhere on, you know, that same year, or a year before, but anyways, yeah, and, uh, actually, actually, you know what, I'll, I'll get it out, I'll get it out right now. Alright, wait up, wait up. Right here. Right Fucking it. Okay, wait up. Wait up. Y'all no, can't. Let me see that shit so I can move you over here. Fuck yeah! <laughs> yes! Some 41! Some 41! And here it says, on the bottom it says underclass hero. So fuck yeah! Ah! Uh, that shit looks better than I thought. But yeah. Hell yeah. And um. Still have it. We'll forever have it. Um. So yeah, so, so yeah. I don't want them to break up. It shouldn't happen. Obviously, you know, if they, they feel it's what's best, or at least for now, you know. But I'm gonna fuck more. I'm gonna. I need to be honest. No. 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 Okay? No. Fuck. Fuck. But, yeah. Um. 
Blast some 41, bitches. All right, that's all you can really do. That's all. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Keep blasting it. All right, not just a pop punk shit, which is good as fuck, and not just their skate punk shit. All right. Also blast their fucking metal shit. All right, Ch the Chuck album, the Screaming Bloody Murder album, uh, which is even a lot, very much underrated. Um, <clears throat> the their last album. Uh, Fuck, what's it called? Uh, literally, I can see the goddamn cover art. Scott Heads Will Roll. Um, underrated song, too, by the way. Very, very much a little rock and rolly little. Um, but yeah, just listen to their shit, bitches. <sighs> yeah. But if they're really going to go through with it, all I can say is... Get Steve-O back on. <laughs> with, with your current drummer if you want to. Though I would also appreciate if Steve-O does a few songs on, you know, just him. But you could have two drummers going at it, you know, at the same time, playing the same notes. Honestly, that'd be super impressive as fuck, as obviously. Um, Dave, you know, Dave Brown sound, he's been back. Um, God, it's been that long since he came back. I, anyways, fuck <laughs> But yeah, um, I don't know what to say. Since first fucking grade, first fucking grade, um, <coughs> damn it, fuck, man. Yeah, it makes me sad as fuck. And I really fucking hope I'll be able to see them. Um, really fucking hope so. Um, so I don't give a fuck. Someone's gonna have to drive me. I'll fucking take. I'll steal my dad's fucking car. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, again, maybe they'll end up changing their minds. Who knows? They might, but. We'll see. So, I hope you guys um, like the video, I guess. Um, I don't know what there is to like about this. It's just really sad news. But I've always wanted to talk about my connection with some 41. Honestly, I'll probably end up making another video talking about the whole history of me knowing them. Just because, which again, at this point, I also treat my YouTube channel and my Instagram just as journals, archives of my life. And just, you know. To be able to remember stuff, you know, maybe in 30 years I won't remember shit as clearly so I can just watch my own video and be like, oh yeah, that's right, you know, so. <laughs> Damn it, fuck, man. <laughs> fuck. <sighs> Never be forgotten. Sum 41, her fucking life. And of course, the Sum 41 salute. I don't know if it's mirrored, so maybe I should do it like this. Um, either way, <laughs> some 41 bitches! Fuck yeah! Forever! Hope you like the fucking... Go on, say that. Subscribe for all kinds of fucking content, alright? Um, yeah. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video. Share the video if you like the video. And, um, yeah, subscribe for all kinds of content. God, I swear to God, there's something I'm forgetting. Anyways. Rock out!